Let's try again. <laughs> Hello, my name is Goran Ekis and you're uh, watching Till the Podcast about uh, web development and uh, programming uh, front end uh, for for start. And then we're we're going to see how to incorporate backend into it. For today, um, I want to show you how the uh, the designer works. We saw uh, in a previous episode that um, <sighs> we basically scratched the surface. We saw some features that it has, some uh, tools that we are going to use, and so on. But we didn't actually do anything with it. And for uh, for our problem to solve with our code, we are going to assume we are working on uh, a blog, uh, a blog page, and a blog page for for the list of posts. Uh, so uh, let's say we are going to start with a list of posts and that we want to think about it at first uh, how do we want to want it to look and uh, let's say i want it in a table with um, three by something uh posts per per column and that we have a table of uh, last so I don't know. Let's say nine posts, so so it fits nicely, or maybe it's going to be six, depending on the on the size. But um, we're going to think about the uh, mobile friendly and responsiveness once we are in the front end. So now we're going to just assume that. This is the page, and it, that's how the resolution won't change, and we start with that. So, for start, I know my page is going to have a template, which, no wonder, we'll say till the center here. And what I want is uh, div that uh, okay, let me style uh, when we add the open brace and then closed it's going to be a another object that we can use to add more properties to it and then I'm going to say padding is 20 in the numbers, which is going to be pixels. So you can see that because there's 20 here and 20 here, uh, this, uh, this div is now bigger. And let's say that I want just uh, just blog posts. I'm going to see where the title of the page will be. Uh, so for now, let, let's just fix the, the most obvious problem, how we are going to display this, and we are going to display it as a grid. Uh, and then we are... Uh, ah, we're going to need some help. So now I think the name is grid template columns uh, auto re uh, no repeat re auto. Why? I think this is what I want. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Right. 
uh, have anything yet. Um, right, let's add something. So every uh, every post is going to be a paper. And let's say just for visual perspective the I'm going to have four of them. Now this doesn't look right. Uh, oops. Um, what I want is read gap, I think, and that to be, let's say, part for, for start. This means it's five pixels between the um, elements in a grid. And the grid is this big uh, parent div that we're placing our posts into. Now this doesn't look like a post, I, I agree, but uh, we're going to make it look like a post. So, uh, let's stop for a second and... Uh, Think about what the blog post is. For us, let's say it's a title, it's a, um, content, and some picture to go with it, which will be on some URL. We're going to pick a random picture for it. So, what we want is uh, three elements uh, in this list uh in this right blog post i want an image that is uh displayed i think best with a div so i need one of them here and then here and what i'll need is that image has some uh, surface right and let's say with plus a hundred okay and now it would be really cool if that would be an image and then I have a title here and very short, uh, like a quote, uh, like, I don't know, first hundred characters of the post, right? Uh, so that, that would be nice for a blog post. And let's see what we can find. Uh, let's say we want... Um, What's today? Thursday. All right. Oh my God, not the best choice. <laughs> okay, let's say beer. And okay, it's Wikipedia, why not? But no, we actually need something more square. Uh, let's say this. And I want to see it. Right, okay, so that's it. And this is the... Hold on, actually... Oh, right, this is even shorter. Uh, so... Let's say we want to use this. It's kind of huge, but uh, I don't want to spend too much time thinking about which image to use. So let's say we want that one and Okay. 
Look good. All right. Alright. So let's say I want to add okay, age two for the title and it's going to go below. But let's ignore that for now. Uh, let's say age two for my hit. That's our first blog post and then Let's say that in a paragraph, I'm going to say, read more about something. All right. So, yeah, probably end this way. Like this, so uh, this is almost what we need. This is all the data we are going to present at the at the list of blog posts for now. It would be cool to have author, to have the date and whatnot, but let's just stick to the basics for now. Uh, so, there is one thing I would really like this, um, this thingy to do, the, the, this layout to, to be, is with the picture here, the title, and then the, uh, read more about something, something. So... What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to add one more div, and I'm going to add it before this uh, Thursday night. The reason is that uh, I'm trying to uh, arrange uh, this whole uh, blog post uh, to center w its children and I want only these two to be its children and to be next to each other so the way I'm going to do that is yeah this is a paper actually beautiful so I'm going to say display flat All right, already done. <laughs> um, and I'm going to say this really be nice like this. All right, and let's say it has some spacing, some margin. Margin, right edge, no idea, 20. Okay. And this looks like a blog post. If you have a good imagination, that is. Anyway, let's copy that a few times. Okay, so this is basically the layout I wanted for the uh, for the blog posts. Okay, okay, let's make them no. Actually, I really don't want them to fit nicely, so I can see what happens when there's not a perfect number of them. So 
honestly what we are missing here is a title and that title would be nice to go above this list this grid and the title is h1 naturally but now rearrange uh, i will turn it on with the, the click of a button if you're using firefox while you're holding shift the rearrange is active when you uh, release shift then it's not active anymore uh, the key binding key handling and uh, drag and drop with chromium is different so that doesn't work nicely so you have this button uh, which works whatever uh, rearrange means i'm gonna drop it on, onto this div but instead of this uh, h1 becoming a uh, child of, of that div it's going to become a child of the same this big div of the same parent and it's going to be placed before this div right so either i drop it here or here doesn't matter so if i drop it here it's gonna go here right i said before this div and its text is going to be uh, uh, I'm not imaginative today, so blog list. Right, you probably want a little bit of style and say Morgan on the left is 20 pixels, so it's a line okay so this is basically that this is the most basic oh no 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 we need more what we need is uh let's say there are um, i don't know six blog posts per page and you want to, to have ability to say one like arrow is okay give me older posts and the other one is give me newer ones uh like give me six by six right so we need some arrows here and uh, let's say let's say for sake of simplicity it's going to be a button no actually it's not it's going to be first as a div that is will allow me to uh, why <coughs> all right so it is going to be a div that it's going to have a style that display um, I will need flex and then into it I want some buttons uh, button will say newer uh, button will say uh, I don't think it matters uh and let's say the variant of the of the button is outlined what it means is that it has always this border around it uh so i'm not gonna play with the the icons so it would probably be better that this is an arrow or i could say the text is this right actually why not and i'm gonna need an avatar and 
is going to display uh, the page we are currently looking at and then I'm gonna need this same button like this and I'm going to need a style around this avatar to say margin on the left is 5 pixels and the margin on the right is 5 pixels right so this is how it looks like and then I'm going to say line I line I center and I'm going to say justify the content is going to be center all right here we are now this should be okay let's say we're on a first page and one of them do i have no i don't have boolean okay so this is to do All right, so what I want to mark with this uh, disabled button is that there are no newer pages. You only can look at the older ones. Actually, if that's true, that means this list is not populated. Uh, it, it has to be populated. So there is something on the next page, and when you click on it, a new ba batch of six blog posts is going to be fetched. So this is the, the design of a blog list. And uh, okay, let's be less dull. Okay, straight from the hacker's kitchen. Till the center is the hacker space, so why not? And uh, okay, let's say you are satisfied with the page. Um, you're going to say, okay, this is pretty cool. Just save it in my downloads as a uh, design.json or design parentheses one two three four whichever uh, version of your design it is right and then let's say tomorrow you start fresh and you go to that downloads and pray for, for the best all right, it still looks as it should be. Uh, so, you know that your design is saved and that everything looks pretty much the same. And uh, for me as a front-end, when I'm doing the front-end, uh, I think, I would be satisfied is if I would get something like this as a design. Um, doesn't matter that the titles are all the same and so on. Uh, it's going to be fetched from the database anyway, so I don't care. But uh, <clears throat> this is the, the layout and the, the exportable code here on export. We're not going to, to deal with the code just yet. Uh, let's say we're still thinking about the idea. 
and this is great but let's say we want that this whole uh, card this whole uh, section like a cell of a grid is a link to a new page that uh, shows this whole text and maybe some more metadata depending on what blog post is but we're gonna keep it simple uh, as I said there, there are few more fields that could fit this um, this design but let's just focus on the tool and keep it simple so <coughs> uh, again we start actually we don't have to start actually this app bar I can copy it and then I start fresh and then I paste it all right and I know I'm going to need um, title and that title is going to say Thursday night because that's the title it's going to no actually what I want to do is add one more div here and then I want that h1 inside the div and this div I want to have a style and style should say okay puts everything 20 pixels inside uh, towards the center uh, okay and now now I want something different actually uh, I want uh, I want image and that image is obviously real small right now so I'm gonna style it some somewhat and I'm sure gonna add uh, that beer image and what was it this one all right so <coughs> the source of that uh, of that image is like this that's cool all right it's too big uh, and I'm gonna say height is let's say 200 pixels in numbers right why not let's say we, we want it like this uh, the title could be also styled to be in the center so text line center all right and then we want some text and it's going to be a paragraph and all right so this is all the all the data uh, uh, all the the elements i will need to uh, well design to, to put into one one page right. okay so let's put some text into this all right 
Now, it would be really, really nice if uh, this text would actually be, um, would go around this picture. So if there's a huge amount of text, uh, okay, no, I'm just gonna take you so in this text, I need more text. Okay, so I want this text to go around the picture. I have no idea how it's done. Uh, I know there's the CSS, oh yeah, wrapping. So I know there's the CSS for that. I just don't know stuff by heart and float left i think that's it uh, yeah it's not so float left all right now this is cool and i want some mar margin on the right And every um, paragraph can have the first line um, identified specially. So, you know, there's a CSS for paragraph first line. All right, let's say we want some style on it, and then we want that. Oh, uh, let's say also color. Okay, so this is oh yeah 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 we need a lot more text here so i'm just gonna copy twice <coughs> paste all right so we see that the text goes around the the image and uh, this is the 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 most basic look uh, that we want from um, from a blog post. Of course, we would probably like more paragraphs, not this wall of text. Uh, and yeah, I should just go here. So. Right. So if this is like a newspaper, the, this is how you, how a huge blog post would look like. Uh, you really want to break it down into uh, more graphs or paragraphs, or you know, to to do something to make it less less boring as just the text but for the design this is this is exactly what we need some data to see how it fits the layout uh, all right and uh, hmm. let's say where would the Let's say we want age, I don't know, I'm making up here, age four. I want to rearrange.
change this and save it for Okay, so I want this to say turn date is 12-11-2020. Uh, I want that style to also put this, uh, this is text aligned, also put it here. And uh, I want color be gray. Okay. So let's say like this. right so <coughs> we s we have some metadata uh, along this the, this post because one thing i know at least my best man is really pissed off is when he's reading a blog post and he doesn't know if it's relevant or not because maybe the blog post is I don't know, 15 years old and something changed or it was published yesterday and it's announcing something that's yet to come because the package managers on your distributions need to catch up and so on. So it's really cool when you, you're reading some blog posts to know what time stamp are we talking about. So... Uh, this is this is something I I think it's cool to to put uh, the info uh, I'm trying to make this uh, really small this gap all right now this is what i want <laughs> and i'm gonna save that too um, and i'm gonna reiterate a little bit what was going on here so maybe through a different uh, prism uh, there is obviously uh, drag and drop functionality and you can search for uh, elements uh, uh, and material UI components here and this is either case sensitive or not right if I write age here maybe something starting with uh, 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 having a capital H is here. Uh, it does the same for the icon. Uh, but I don't know, let me stop now. Uh, add, right, when you When you want some icon, it's also doable through drag and drop. We just didn't for now. I want it to really be simple. and uh, So no icons for now, no team, no uh, fancy stuff. And uh, we just imagined that this image, this URL, is going to be somewhere, probably hosted by the backend and the backend is going to return you just the url of the picture so we already have the uh, url here uh, if you want you can upload your pictures together with the design uh, that makes design huge 
but maybe you want it's a final one and you want everything in one place uh, so you're not going to use uh, URLs it's uh, for example this can also be a file and then you upload uh, then you upload your file and it's contained in, in the design uh, technically what's going on is that that file is going to be converted into a very large string uh, which is mm, how to say put through the, the algorithm called uh, base64 uh, so it can be base64 makes everything a text let's say it like that so it's saved as a text and uh, uh, act your your save here and export actually contain that data about the picture uh, what we saw is that every element can have a style and can have other properties for image uh, when I select it here is going to be also selected here uh, so for the image uh, we also have a source which is a URL to this picture and uh, when you click either on the name you can change it or the value uh, the value can have a type uh, string is the the general one you can put everything into string when you're talking about pixels for example the the number is used uh, i didn't show color and file uh, but i could actually let's say this needs to be background color and I want it like this so I put something like red and now when I move it it changes in real time so whatever I do with it it changes in real time and uh, maybe it's transparent or something like that so I don't know why these don't move and they should uh, but the big thing was that you can visually see immediately what's going on with the design as you're dragging along this uh, spectrum so let's say okay I'm satisfied and this is how it looks uh, just for the sake of saving i'm gonna remove it but yeah this is how editing uh, design is presented in real time uh, you saw that when i changed it for the first time it uh, the, the it wasn't real time it's because we still didn't add that property uh, where we were about to add that property so that's why it uh, wasn't active and uh, right uh, I think that oh no let's make it actually the same what I didn't do is the this text identification uh, identification is not right and let's say we want like this all right so now when i save it it's gonna go to my download of course and uh, that's the whole design so uh, i will make a cut here uh i think we scratched a little bit deeper uh, what a designer can do and uh, uh, how you can use it 
as you can see it's really important to know your css otherwise this is not such a good tool for for people that don't handle css uh, and yeah uh, so i wanted to share something with you uh, in the end the uh, tilda is an uh, organization that is inclined towards education and technology and we are currently in a process of uh, collecting money for our next um, apartment or na next space so if you can spare a uh, few bucks there is a patreon page for tilda center uh, which is patreon.com uh, slash tilda center that's the one word if you can uh, spare something and uh, thank you very much for doing so uh, one thing that we at tilda center kind of sworn is that uh, all the lectures are always going to be free forever uh, so help us in achieving that goal thank you for watching and goodbye